Hi everyone, my name is Jillian Parker and today I'm joined by Alice McBride. She is a physical therapist at Unity at Ridgeway and today we want to talk about back pain and what your work from home setup is. A lot of people have been working from home over the last seven months, now a lot of kids virtually learning from home and the setup might not be correct for your posture, which might be leading to some of the back pain. Mm -hmm. Alice, how many people have you seen over the last six or seven months that have come in complaining of back pain that, and it's the first time that they've ever had it? Quite a few actually. I actually just evaled a lady today who had low back pain due to her new setup at home. Um, quite a few people are getting new aches and pains in their neck or low back just because of their new setup at home and changing in work environment. So what are people doing wrong at home that could be leading to back pain and what should they be doing? What should their setup look like? You know, where should the height of their monitor or laptop be and the height of their chair as well? Yeah, so if you wanna start, uh, we can start with the chair. Um, your chair, you wanna make sure it's the correct height so that your feet can be flat on the ground. And you also wanna make sure you don't have any pressure right here on your knees. Um, restricting any blood flow right through there. You want to look at the back of your chair. This is a good height here. Um, you want some low back and mid back support. Um, if you're working at a desk or a computer, you want to make sure the monitor is up at eye level right here. So if you're working at a laptop, it's really easy to hunch forward and kind of get this forward posture. Um, but I would recommend placing a box underneath your laptop like we have here so it can be up at the right height um, to encourage you to sit upright like this and then you can also get a separate keyboard um, to type at right here. If someone had their laptop here on the desk instead and you know what kind of damage if they are hunching over typing like that over months at a time what kind of damage can that do? That can place a lot of extra pressure on your muscles, um, your joints, and maybe even cause some nerve impingement that could send pain radiating down um, to other parts of your body that you would want to avoid. Now, spine posture. I know that's mm -hmm. a big one. I'm working from home myself. I don't think my setup is <laughs> necessarily correct at home, so <laughs> I might have to alter that after this. But I know you have a little prop with you as well. How can you demonstrate what our posture should be like when we're sitting how, and is there a way that we can tell if we're doing it wrong? Yeah, so I actually brought a model of the spine right here, okay? Um, as you can see, our spine has many natural curves in it. Here's the front of our spine, and then here's the back of our spine right here. So our neck, or our cervical spine up here, it naturally curves this way a little bit. And then our mid-back, our thoracic spine right here naturally curves this way. And then our low back curves the other way, our lumbar spine. So um, you always want to be aware of your posture mm -hmm. when you're working, especially if you're sitting for many hours of the day. So one way I like to start by attaining ideal posture is to start with your low back and just arching it a little bit in your chair right here, getting that little bit of a curve right mm -hmm. there. That kind of sets up the rest of the spine to be right on top of itself. And then making sure your head is nicely balanced in between your shoulders. Your ears are right over your shoulder blades right here. And in order to have that posture, how important is it, like you said, to have a chair that has back support? A lot of people at home might be using, using a dining chair or mm -hmm. just another chair they have lying around their house that might not be great for their back. How much does that play a part? Yeah, so if you find yourself having a hard time remembering to sit upright, you can always have um, a small yeah. towel or a pillow place underneath your low back right there just to give you that gentle reminder to sit upright and then balance your head right there too. Now for people who might be working from home still may be afraid to leave the house what are some exercises at home that they can do to help if their setup isn't right and they have been experiencing that back pain? Yeah so there's quite a few exercises you can actually do right in your chair okay. while you're working. Um, I would recommend moving changing position every 15 or so minutes getting up every half hour as well. Um, but you can do these exercises every half hour just to keep you moving. Now when you say move or get up every half hour, is it just kind of take a walk, a lap around your house? <laughs> or I mean, how long would you recommend people be up out of their chair before heading back to their workplace? Yep, generally like one to two minutes. So you can okay. go get a glass of water, you know, do something 
just go from room to room and then sit back down. Okay. Can you walk us through some of the exercises people can do yeah. to help with the back pain? Yeah. Okay. We'll start with um, an upper trap stretch. Okay. So your upper trap is a muscle that goes from the base of your spine or base of your skull down your spine and then to your shoulder out here. Okay. Um, it can get really tight if you find yourself bringing your shoulders mm -hmm. up or your head forward. Um, so it's a good muscle to stretch. So in order to stretch it, you want to tilt your head to one side and then you can look at that armpit. Okay. Bring this arm up and over and then gently pull up on the base of your skull to elongate right here. Okay. Okay. You should just feel a pull like that. You want to hold each stretch for about 30 seconds and then you can switch sides and do it over here. So again, tilting the head, looking down towards the armpit, and then gently pulling up like this. And you should just feel a nice pull through here. You wanna make sure you're not cranking down on your mm -hmm. neck like that, but just pulling up. Yeah, you can really feel it in the neck when you do that. Yeah, it's a really tight muscle on most people. Um, another exercise you can do is shoulder blade squeezes. So just squeezing your shoulder blades together like that, making sure they're not coming up, staying down and just squeezing through here. This is a good postural exercise to do to help encourage sitting upright um, and bringing your chest up. And I'm sure that is common, a lot of people putting their shoulders up and which tenses up your muscles. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just recommend holding this for about three seconds and you can do it 10 or 15 times. Okay. Now, do you recommend people do this once a day anyway, or is this really only for if you are experiencing some of that, you know, those tense muscles and that pain in your back? Oh, these are great exercises to do anyways, just postural exercises, but especially if you're finding yourself sitting all day and having a hard time remembering to sit upright. Okay. Were there any exer other exercises that you wanted to demonstrate? Sure, yeah. Um, pelvic tilt for your low back are a good one. It's a low back mobility exercise. So you wanna find the top of your pelvis, these hip bones right here, okay? Um, think of your pelvis as like a bowl that joins your hips together, okay? And then you're just going to rock your low back back and forth like this, yep. So you can think about pushing your low back into the back of your chair mm -hmm. and then arching it away, just keeping it moving. Yeah, you really feel that in your lower back. Yeah, that one. yep. Um, if you want to do some stretches for your hips in your chair, you can do a figure four stretch. So that's when you bring your ankle up to your opposite knee. Okay. And then keeping a straight back and your chest up, you just lean forwards and that's a good oh, yeah. pull and stretch right back here. Yeah, you really feel the stretch throughout your whole back. Mm -hmm. And keeping um, flexible hips is good to decrease pressure on your low back. Okay. And then we can switch sides. Holding each stretch for about 30 seconds. Yeah, and like you said, these are all easy. People can do them in their chair at home. Mm -hmm. You don't need any props or weights or anything else in order to stretch out these areas. Right, yeah. Now, how do you know whether or not it is just some simple back pain from maybe some bad posture while you've been working at home that you can fix with some of these stretches mm -hmm. or if it's something more severe where you might need to come in, see someone at Unity Ridgeway to get more help. Yeah, definitely. So if you're having really sharp pain or pain that's traveling down your arms and legs or you're feeling any burning or numbness, tingling sensations, that's a sign that it might be more of a serious injury and you might want to go think about getting checked out. Have you been seeing some of those more serious injuries too or is it you know, over the last couple of months, any more than you would normally, or is it really more of just that kind of back pain from maybe not having the right work set up at home? Um, it's a mixture, okay. honestly. Yeah. Um, I am seeing a lot of just aches and pains from muscles and we just got to stretch some of the tight muscles that aren't getting moved enough throughout the day. But also sometimes, yeah, people are getting some new nerve impingement that we need to take a look at. Any other tips or advice for people, whether it's, you know, adults working from home, kids, studying virtually from home. Um, you know, we've been doing it for six, seven months and a lot of people are gonna be continuing to do it still for a while longer. Um, just, I know 
yeah, COVID-19 has changed a lot of our daily routines. Um, just try to keep active as much as possible, keep moving, keep thinking about your posture and exercise when you can. And make sure not to sit at your table for eight hours straight. Yes, you need definitely. To get up and move. <laughs> definitely. Okay, Alice, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thank you.